Coach PJ here. Are there some weeks that you worry about making payroll? Do you know what your cash gap is? Some businesses have this and others don't. A cash gap is the difference between when you pay money out versus when you get money in. This is particularly common in labor-based businesses that have a practice of invoicing and collections or in businesses that have long project cycles with milestone-based billing or in manufacturing-based businesses that require raw materials, parts, or inventory in order to be able to sell their products. If you want more information about how to have a business and sleep at night where cash flow is king, check out my other video as well. Now that you understand what a cash gap is, let's look at ways to reduce the gap. One option is to look at your payment terms with your suppliers. Maybe you are on seven or 14 day terms, and if you have a long-term relationship with a supplier, ask if they'll extend your terms to 30 or 45 days. It doesn't hurt to ask. Another option is to think about your clients. How can you get them to pay faster? Do you take ACH or credit cards? Where you can get payment as soon as you complete the work and you do not have to wait for the customer to receive an invoice and then process the payment. Do you take deposits up front to get started? Do you collect in advance or only after the work is completed? What are the payment terms you have with your customers? Can you collect at the time of job completion? Many trades collect at time of service. If you are a business that invoices customers, the more timely the invoice, the more timely the collection. Invoicing weekly can feel like time consuming, it can feel like a burden, but it's often necessary in some businesses. Do you have long time customers that you need to convert to current billing and collection practices? Do you have a gap in between when your team completes the work and when they're paid? Do you perhaps pay your team every other week or weekly? For those that collect timesheets on a weekly basis, on a Monday or Sunday, and then just pay a few days later, there's little to no time to invoice and collect on the work performed. Instead, Build in a buffer between when team members submit timesheets and when they get paid. If this is something that you need to change in your business, consider adding one day per month to the number of days between timesheets and payroll over a six month period to create a bigger gap. If you think this may be a hardship for your employees, consider giving them a one time transition payment to help ease with this transition to a new payroll calendar. What is it you need to do in your business to reduce your cash gap? Another element is cash flow forecasting. You know, with a solid cash flow forecast, you can look 30, 60, 90 days out and anticipate when and to what extent you need cash. When you have a plan for cash, when you have a visibility to 30, 60, 90 days out, you have more options to secure funding, adjust your business practices, and manage through any forecasted shortfalls. If this is something that you're interested in learning more about, I have a number of ways to do that. We can get together for coffee, jump on a quick call, or if you know that this is absolutely what you need and you wanna get started right away, I offer a complimentary coaching session where we'll dig deep into your business, identify the opportunities, and put a plan in place to go forward leading real people to achieve real results. Your business profit, until next time.